Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Dev, aka the Unknown Variable here, back at you with another commentary. And Activision's utter incompetence never fails to amaze me. Like deadass, if they had an award for the most incompetent publishing company, Activision would take home the grand prize every single year. From broken updates all the way to false bans, we've seen it all with Activision and Co. But what I'm going to be speaking on today has never happened in the history of the Call of Duty franchise. This blunder by Activision is not only extremely nefarious, but also outright stupid. Stupid. I'm also going to be going over some more news regarding Modern Warfare 3 maps and the zombies mode in Modern Warfare 3. So sit back, relax, and get ready to be shocked because you quite literally can't make this shit up. Now, with that intro out of the way, firstly, I'll be speaking on the in-game screenshots we got a few days ago showing off how the OG Modern Warfare 2 2009 map remasters are going to look in Modern Warfare 3. If you look at this Charlie Intel tweet, he says, Breaking! New images showcase Modern Warfare 2 2009 maps remastered for Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. Now, if you look at the screenshots, you'll see some very good-looking versions of Quarry, Scrapyard, Afghan, and Terminal. These maps look really good from a graphical standpoint, and that's to be expected with the Modern Warfare series like I've I've never had an issue with the Modern Warfare series from a graphics standpoint. Now, obviously, we can't tell how these maps are going to play in Modern Warfare 3, but if remasters in any of the new COD games have taught me anything, it's that the devs will find a way to royally screw these maps up somehow. My guess is that they'll be adding a plethora of doors and kill the flow of the map, but that's yet to be seen, and I'll be holding back my criticisms until I see gameplay on these maps. All in all, pretty incompetent on Activision's part by recycling some more content, but hey, at this point, this is the least of our worries as a community. We also received some information today regarding zombies mode in modern warfare 2 yes that's right i said modern warfare 2 and if you look at this tweet here from warzone tfn he said rumor zombies could be coming in season 6 in some capacity it could have something to do with the modern warfare 3 reveal on october 5th but we will update when there is some more information available so if i was a guessing man i'd kind of bet my money on the fact that this leak regarding zombies in modern warfare 2 has something to do with warzone based on their current trend of advertising their next title in warzone i believe that this will be some sort of zombies reveal in Von Del, but only time will tell what the rumor actually entails. I could see them doing some sort of, you know, zombies reveal event within Warzone. So like I said, we'll see how this rumor really pans out. Rumors aside though, this is where the video takes a very greedy and dark turn. This part of the video is going to be a little bit more animated for me because quite frankly, your boy needs to vent about the absolute incompetence on full display for every single one of you guys to see. Now on any given day, Activision and co always seem to find a way to dig a deeper hole in the abyss of bullshit. But these next two points have probably got to be the greediest and most incompetent I've ever seen Activision in the entire life cycle of Modern Warfare 2, and that is really saying something, guys. Now, I'm sure you've all heard the saying, third time's a charm. Well, this should be Activision's motto, because believe it or not, according to the leaks, there will be a new Prime Gaming bundle this week. Just hope nobody bought YOLO pack, as it's more than likely that. So let me get this straight, Activision. Your paying customers that get abused by you guys every year have now bought three, count them three, World Series of Warzone bundles, and every single one of them has been added as a bonus for anybody that has Amazon Prime. Now, I've said this before in previous videos. You yourself do not have to have Amazon Prime. You can use someone else's Amazon Prime account. So like I've said in the past, if you have a friend that has an Amazon Prime account, you have a family member that has an Amazon Prime account, you yourself don't have to pay anything and you could get this skin for free while the people that bought the bundles are basically left to pound sand and you know it's Activision right they're gonna screw their player base they don't care how much money you've spent on this game you've given them money they already have it and now this is what you get in return some nice bundles that you purchased given away not once not twice but thrice three times this has happened and the community's like it's no big deal the first one wasn't a big deal the second one wasn't a big deal well let me ask you bootlickers let me ask you cod community is the third one a big deal they're doing it a third time call me a fortune teller because i've said this over and over and over and the community's too brain dead to see it if activision does it once they'll do it again call me a broken record call me whatever you want i've been saying it i've been preaching it and call me a psychic because it came true 
for a third time in a row. But if I'm being honest, Activision really outdid themselves with this second bit of news I'm about to share. Believe me when I say, this is the pinnacle of incompetence. The magnum opus, if you will. And this really highlights the terrible job Activision does with Call of Duty. If you look at this tweet, it is now being reported that you can actually be banned for equipping a certain bundle skin in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Yes, that is right. You heard me correctly. You can be banned from this game for spending money on their store. So, you look at the tweet here. It says, be advised, people who have bought the Hear No Evil bundle are not safe. Equipping the operator skin will instantly reward you with a 30-day temporary ban from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Warzone, and Warzone Mobile. So you don't just get banned from one game, you get banned from three of them, simply for equipping a skin. It should also be noted that this bundle was released accidentally in Warzone Mobile for a few hours and could be purchased legitimately by using 2,400 COD points. After the 30 days, the ban will repeat over and over again if you're still equipping the skin. So let me get this straight. You guys fucked up by putting this in the store. You messed up by putting it in the store. People spent real money and didn't cheat the game or anything to get these. You just messed up, put it in the store, and people purchased it because they thought it was something that was available to purchase. And now, it wasn't supposed to be in the store, so what do you guys do? You ban people that equip it. This is peak incompetence. This is peak greed. This is a peak slap in the face to the entire Call of Duty community or any singular individual that has spent a cent on microtransactions in this game. And this is why I'm so against them because they could do stupid shit like this. And I know a lot of people are going to be defending Activision in the comment section. They always do. I'm never surprised when I see these people come around my comment section. They are going to defend Activision. You are going to see these people in the comments that are so blinded by their love for this game that they don't see that they're getting absolutely hammered right up the shitter every single year, every single season. And people like to tell me that Modern Warfare 3 is going to get better. This game series is a cesspool of garbage. They're banning innocent players. They've done nothing but abuse their player base and they constantly show a pattern of incompetence and pure greed. But that's just my two cents. Let me know how you guys feel about this entire situation in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video. If you didn't enjoy the video, make sure to smash the absolute shit out of that dislike button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and turn that notification bell on so you never miss when I upload a video and I'll catch everybody in the next one.